What's up, everyone? We are live at 5. It's Wednesday, matinee day, August 21st. I'm Paul Wontor. And I'm Ryan Lee Gilbert. And we're joined by Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. I almost said Caitlin McNaney. Different oh. Caitlin. We have three Caitlins. Three Caitlins here. work here. Yeah. It's a guessing game, really. <laughs> we have three Ryans. Three, Three Caitlin's. Caitlin's. This is Ryan Lee Gilbert. Yes. Uh, and who is our guest today? There's only, there's only one of him. That's Mauricio true. Martinez. Ooh. Mauricio Ooh. Martinez. Yes, Ooh. we love. Uh, back at uh, Feinstein slash 54 Below. I always That's get right. confused about if you're supposed to say the Feinstein. Some people don't. I know. And their gotta, website doesn't. Go anyway, mm -hmm. uh, with his show... De Mexico to Broadway. See? Look at that. See, yes. De Mexico. I took a lot of Spanish. Uh, we'll get to him, but first, today's top five. We exclusively announced this morning who has taken uh, Donna Summer's uh, life story on the road. Yes, hot stuff indeed. Summer, the Donna Summer musical, announced its full cast. We announced it exclusively this morning, and it is that the show will be headlined by Danielle Williamson as Diva Donna, Alex Hairston as Disco Donna, and Olivia Elise Hardy as Duckling Donna. They're all amazing performers. They're I don't all know talented. any of them. No, they're you all. Got this chance is going to be like, talk to them, right? Yeah, exactly. Like this is going to be a really big break for all of them. Of course, Williamson has been on Broadway. She was in Broadway in Memphis, which I know you're a okay. big fan of. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> also scandalous and rocky. Alex Hairston, she was in Broadway's Beautiful, um, and she also was in the, in the national tour of Motown. But as of for Hardy, this is her first professional gig, playing cool. Duckling wow, Donna. So, congratulations. Yeah. Wow, congratulations. Super awesome. The production uh, will kick off at the RBTL Auditorium. That's in Rochester, New York. It'll begin on September 29th. You can check out our exclusive photos, video, and interview with all three mega-talented women on our site right now. And there's a whole lot of news coming straight out of Agrabah. So let me just prep you right now. We got a lot of a lot of news and a lot of little shop of horrors news today. We do. That's going to be the next yes. was, section of this. Yeah, there was a point on our homepage where it was just all Aladdin and Little Shop, which we're okay yeah, with. Yeah, absolutely. By the way. I'll take if, it, if the world is Donna Summer, Aladdin, and Little Shop of Horrors, I'm Sign me up. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go through this. So Clinton Greenspan, who was the star of Aladdin on the Road, mm -hmm. is now joining the Broadway company starting on September 13th. Also, Major Attaway mm -hmm. will take over the role of Jeannie. He previously played the role on September 23rd. Um, they will replace J uh, Jacob Dickey and Michael James Scott, who are currently playing the roles. And this will be Greenspan's Broadway debut, so congratulations. Um, and then, so then we have new tour, tour stars, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh oh. It's Jonah. I think you just want to go, uh oh. Yeah, just Ho like Kano? It, that's a good I that's love exactly it. Jonah that. Ho'okano. There you go. Pick and <laughs> Corey Lee Blossy will be uh, playing Aladdin and the Genie on the Road starting September 10th. So, um, a yeah, because so Major and Clinton are currently on the tour. They're coming here. They're going anyway. Yeah. It's, you know, when your show's a hit, you can just keep bouncing people from the cast Absolutely. to cast. Great and, roles. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, this is going to be great. But, you know, this is also an opportunity to say we are also launching a new series, the character study right. series. Yes. I thought of this because Major Attaway, we did um, a video with Major Attaway mm -hmm. all about the genie. Our character study series, people love those watching actors get ready backstage. We are launching a whole Disney season, hey, so which I've been it's working so cool. on with Caitlin, yeah. actually. We're doing nine different so actors. It's crazy. And it's launching tomorrow with Casey Levy, Ooh, who will yes. uh, take us backstage at Frozen. So anyway, that's so a rela exciting. related, unrelated news. <laughs> <laughs> and one of our favorites is heading to the flower shop. Guys, I've never bought tickets to something so fast in We got really my excited head. in the yes, morning meeting. This is super exciting. All right, so we already know Little Shop of Horrors is happening off-Broadway, directed by Michael Mayer, starring Jonathan Groff, Tammy Blanchard, Christian Borrell. Uh, Jonathan Groff also has Frozen 2 coming out later this year. And we're both obsessed with Mindhunter. We were literally talking about it right before. Yes, so can Ask confirm. Mauricio. Get him his head. We said things we can't say on camera. Yes, it's, it's, it's dirty. Um, so, But anyway, so Jonathan Groff is going to have to take some time off for two weeks in November to promote Frozen 2. And so Gideon Glick, ah. Tony-nominated star his, of To Kill a Mockingbird. And his former Spring Awakening. His They're Ernst, both original yeah, cast members. Absolutely, Spring yeah. Uh, so he will be stepping into the role. The dates are November 5th. November 17th, he will take over the role of Seymour, of course, mm -hmm. in the production. Um, I don't have to tell you who Gideon Glick is. You should all know. But as we mentioned, an incredible cast of the show. Previews begin at the West Side Theater off-Broadway on September 17th. It's so close. It will officially open on October 17th. It's a small, little theater. There aren't many seats. So 
if you want tickets to that, you should get them. Well, they're returning to the roots. They of are Little keeping Shop. it. Yes. Originally yeah. off Broadway, it was a very small show. The the plant spoiler at the end like descended from the ceiling. I think it's going to yes. happen again. I, I think, think they're so. sort of bringing wait. it back to. Yeah. And Tammy Blanchard's playing. Uh, which Audrey. is so amazing. I'm really excited. Yes. So we'll be there, Gideon. Get ready. <laughs> and we found out the rest of the West Coast Little Shop of Horrors cast. In related do you think news. They do this on purpose. They do you think they're No, just like, I think it was totally an accident. <laughs> Twice in a row. But yeah. I booked my my plane ticket. Going. I am going to see Little Shop of Horrors because MJ Rodriguez Bye. is playing Audrey. Poe's had its finale. Oh last my God. Night, yeah. I'm so sold on that idea. Um, George Salazar, Seymour. Uh, Amber Riley, the voice of Audrey, too. But now we also found out Kevin Chamberlain, the fantastic Kevin Chamberlain, who was on Wicked in Wicked like a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Is Mr. Mushnick. And Matthew Wilkes is playing Orange Scavello, DDS. Yes. I was trying to do a little um, <laughs> Alan Green. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yes. It's a doctor. It's a doctor. Um, anyway, uh, it's going to be great. It's at the uh, Pasadena Playhouse. Right. So mm -hmm. you could see it in California. You could see it off Broadway. You can't see Little Shop enough. So, you, yeah. you know what? It's true. So this yeah. is from September 17th to October 20th. I will be there. Mike Donahue is directing it. So get to work, guys. <laughs> We're coming. And save the date for when this movie musical comes to theaters. Everybody's talking about Jamie. Of course, it's a big hit over on the West End right now. Um, we they so they filmed the performance of that and that this went into theaters. This is very theaters. confusing because yes, we, yeah. this musical is based on a document, a TV docu yep. movie. Yes. Yep. So then they made it into a musical, and, and then they filmed, then they filmed that filmed it, musical. And I saw it in a movie theater. You did. And yeah, but, but now it's going to be in a real movie. Yes. Now this is a movie musical adaptation of Everybody's Talking About Jamie, Got it. and we have a release date. It'll so it's really happening. So it's really Sometimes happening. Sometimes they announce these things and then yeah. they don't happen. No, it is a little, it's a little ways off. So you will be able to see Everybody's Talking About Jamie, the movie musical adaptation in theaters on October 23rd, 2020. So there's still some time before That's you get like to That's like before it. West Side Story though, right? It is before. So, yeah, exactly. I mean, they, they, so, I mean, they got to get it in motion. Yeah, you got to get those tickets early. Uh, Max Harwood will be playing the title role alongside Richard E. Grant as Hugo, oh. Sharon Horgan as Miss Hedge, Sarah Lanc Lancashire as Margaret, and uh, Shobna Gulati as Ray. Um, directed by Jonathan Butterell. <gasps> oh, he's fantastic. He's so good. Yes, exactly. Book writer Tom McRae, original score by McRae and Dan Gillespie. Um, yeah, everybody's talking about Jamie. You're going to want to go see it in theaters, October 23rd. I wonder if eventually it'll come to Broadway. Well, you know I mean, what I mean? Yes, Once the movie is, comes exactly, out, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Is, there was some, it's a some, huge hit over there. Some buzz yeah. about it. Absolutely. What else? Uh, Leslie Kritzer is up to her. Another Leslie Kritzer. Seize the day. Oh, People nice. love this vlog. It's this episode four. We're halfway through her vlog journey. And it, what was so funny yesterday on Twitter? I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, that's all right. Yeah. But um, when when we had to, we delayed the episode. Delayed. Oh, yes. Right. It was it was delayed. <laughs> it was delayed. delayed. Oh, oh yes. Because Technical, just don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. And who tweeted? Eddie Perfect. Eddie Perfect. <laughs> Eddie Perfect. The writer of King Kong and Beetlejuice, Tony nominated for Beetlejuice. Yeah. He tweeted that. What did he say? Something about his he entire said, showbiz existence is waiting for this. He vlog. said the only reason why he's in this business is for the Kritzer vlog. He's only which, in same, the business same. for the Leslie Kritzer vlog. Yeah. Same. Well, you know, yeah. yeah so of he was course, upset, and sense. now it's he up, has been live. satisfied. You can obsess. And then is the new side by side up? Yes. yes with it Derek is. Baskins, who we adore and love. Susan Blackwell and, and Derek yes. Baskin. Yep. So cool. lots of great stuff to see on the site right now. But my time. Is up. I need Adios. To get out of here. Yes. Adios. Mauricio Ciao. Martinez Ciao. is here. We're going to do the rest of the show in Spanish. Oh, excellent. Oh, no, of course. So I'm at five first. <laughs> hey, Caitlin, Me amo tell everyone about si. today's guest. Okay. <laughs> yes, today we have Mauricio oh. Martinez here with us in the studio. He's talking all about his upcoming Fine Signs 54 Below concert, De Mexico to Broadway. And that is on Monday, August 26th. And he just announced. Yesterday, Laura Osnes is going to be a guest. Pretty sure he posted that on Instagram, right? I'm going to need confirmation. Great. All right. You guys probably know who he is. He was on Broadway and On Your Feet, and he also did the tour. He's been everywhere. He is currently, you can see him in El Vato, which is on Netflix. You can stream him there. Follow him on Instagram at MartinezMAU. 
follow him there. Wow. Leave your questions in the comments below. And please welcome Mauricio and Paul. Thank you, Caitlin. Hey. Hello, sir. Hola. Hello, sir. Hola. How are you doing? How, did you brush up in your Spanish? I was here two no, years I, ago. No, it's just it's in me. It's in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> not like not like it is in yours. But um, I, 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 the words, you know, they come back. Yeah. It's all coming back to me now. Okay. Like Celine That's, Dion. Yes. Uh, how are you? I'm good. I'm it, happy. Happy it, to be here. It's hot out. It is very hot. It's, it's very. Uh, I'm appreciating the air condition. Yeah, it is. Yes. It's, it's a hot day, and it's going to rain any minute. So yes. yeah, we're going to have a break from it because you. I assume you've been very busy. Yes. You, well, I mean, I follow you on social media. You're all over the place. All over the place. You're yeah. all over the place, <laughs> and, and you're talking a lot about your show. So this yes. is a return engagement. It's right? a return engagement. Uh, the Mexico. To Broadway. There you go. So it's a bilingual title. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Mexico to Broadway, which means? From <laughs> Mexico. I'm just I checking. Think, oh, actually, I'm I just think checking everyone Paul. knows that. I think, all, I think even the red states, they all know exactly <laughs> what that means. Uh, this was first, you first, when did you first start pulling this together? And when did you decide, I want to do this? I did it last Night year. Club show, yeah. Uh, last year, uh, when I was on two weeks vacation from the tour of On Your Feet. On Your Feet. You, of course, were em and I Emilio. Emilio e Stefan. Yes, yes. And On Your Feet. With a very thick Cuban accent. Thank you. And then you opened the tour. And I opened the tour and I did it for a year. Right. But I had a vacation uh -huh. and the guys at 54 Below approached me and said, Would you like to do a show? And I said, Yeah. Uh, so I put it together and I came here and did it and sold out and it was great. Mm -hmm. I had Orfe as my guest. Oh, we know her. Last year, yeah. and it was great. And this year, I have Laura Osnes. So nice. It's nice. amazing, yeah. Now I have she, a princess. Broadway princess. I had a diva, now I have a, a, a princess. From a diva to a princess. So does that, <laughs> yeah. what is that, does that change how you, um, what do you have to do differently for a princess when you're sharing the stage with a princess? Well, it's different. You have to be more... <laughs> more <Or> what? <laughs> Prince-like. With a diva, you just have to like, okay, like be ready. <laughs> for, have you ever played? Have you played? Uh, I was a, the beast. A, you were the beast, I'm right? The prince. That's right. I've seen video of that, haven't I? Yes. And you, uh, you've done other D Disney prince? No. Things? No. Not that. No. No, no, no. But you were the beast. I was the beast for a year in Mexico City. For a year. For a whole year. Wow. I lost twelve pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because of the costume, or because of the running knees. around, all of it. <laughs> well, yeah. everything is just the costumes and the yeah. It's right. a lot of glue and a lot of hair and a lot of prosthetics and right. makeup and yeah. So do you tell the audience at the Mexico to Broadway? Yeah, that I just like saying Mexico. <laughs> I like saying Cuba too. There you go. Uh, yeah, uh, Cuba, Mexico, Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, you just roll the R's. All of that. Uh, do you tell them about beating the beast? Yes, and things yes, from your career? It's, uh, it's sort of like a, the Mexico to Broadway. Here's my story. Yeah, it's pretty much my biography. Okay, uh, it's the original cast recording of my life. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. because it's all not all the songs, but a lot of the songs that cool. I've uh, had the privilege of singing, uh, literally from Mexico and now to Broadway. Right, and roles that I played, and I change the styles of them, and uh -huh. I um, talk about my audition process. Mm -hmm. I talk about my love affair with New York. Mm -hmm. that I've been coming back and forth for over two decades now. Wow. And, when did you uh, first come here? I first came here in 1997 to audition okay. for school, for AMDA. Okay, uh-huh, yep. And uh, I'll never forget it. It was 2 a.m. I lost my flight, and my, my brother came with me. I was 18 years old, and I he was here to audition. And I talk about the audition. Yep. I talk about the songs that I, uh, and the uh -huh. scenes that I did. And, um, yeah, I talk about when I was a merchandise seller at Beauty and the Beast here. Uh-huh, yep. And then I was the beast 10 years later in Mexico when I auditioned for Saturday Night Fever. Uh -huh. And I, uh, I broke my ankle on, uh, on the way to the audition. And it was, yeah. So, yeah. So it's basically my story. The story of a Mexican boy whose dream came true. So when you were a Mexican <laughs> boy, before you came to New York and Amda, yeah. you started doing musicals as a kid? Yes. Well, basically, my first musical was Grease. Okay. Um, Classic choice. Yes. And you were who? Danny. Who else? Zuko. Of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> of, course. <laughs> of course. What do I look like? A young Jean? Of course. <laughs> of course. Is there another role? No, she's getting French. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, so my, my question is you immediately came to New York and yeah. you were at AMDA with a bunch of American kids. Yes. Right? And Canadians. And, well, sure. So yeah, there's always some Canadians in the mix. Mostly Americans. But um, what what do you think is different about growing up in Mexico and, and falling in love with musicals versus America? I mean, is it as. Is, um, is it is it as easy to fall in love with musicals? Is, is well, I think it's. Exposed? I think we're not as exposed to mm -hmm. yeah. musicals as you guys are, because um, just I mean your popular music is you, you know you're 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 here. Hollywood yeah. and Broadway are yeah. part of your identity. Right. 
Mexico, we have telenovelas, we have football, right. soccer, we have right. other stuff, yeah. you know? Um, musicals are not really that strong. Uh -huh. You really have to dig deep yeah. and uh, become a, a musical theater uh -huh. lover. Yeah. Um, yeah, you had to work harder to find it. Yeah, a bit harder. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not our language, first of all. You know, uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Most of the musicals that go to Mexico are translated. Um, right. I would say 99% of them. And, uh, Do that, does that awful? Does that ever make the songs just sound terrible? No, I don't know if terrible, but different. Awkward, a little awkward. Awkward. I remember. I'll never. I mean, some of them are really, really good. Really okay. good. Like the you Beauty give and me the an Beast. Example of one. Beauty and the Beast is perfect. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. It's, it's great, very it's well done. Okay. Uh, but there's some other ones that when I did um, Saturday Night Fever, they yeah. were weird. <laughs> I mean, not not terrible, but right. just strange. Just strange. And I'll never words. forget. Uh -huh. I was not part of it, but I went to see Mamma Mia. Uh -huh. And it was just not right. I was like, nope, this just does, doesn't work it to me. It didn't work in Spanish. I was like, no, like you're, you're like, so used Greece, to the songs. I'm used to it in English. It's in yeah, Spanish. Where it's are weird. we? Where it's weird. It's weird. I was I just see that Mamma Mia. You know, they do it in London now, where you it's like a whole Greek dinner. It's like a oh really? It's an mm -hmm. extravaganza. Oh wow! You sit there and you have a meal and you're part of it. Oh, they dance nice. around. Have some you. wine. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah, you get drunk <laughs> at Mamma Mia. <laughs> there you go. I mean, it kind of it works. They probably always did. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> so um, you I would. were, of course, in On Your Feet. Um, how long did you do it on Broadway? I did it for six weeks. Yeah, right, like, because you sort of were like the, and then you the already knew you were doing Emilio. the tour. Right. They announced, you're doing the tour, and he's right. doing it on Broadway first. And uh, I did that. And what was that like? Was that fun? Amazing. It yeah. was, yeah, the, the shortest six weeks of my life. Shortest shorts and the shortest run. Right, yeah. <laughs> those shorts are short. Yep. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, it was very exciting because yeah. I was I had so many people come to support me for those uh -huh. six weeks. It feels it felt like I was doing it for six months, but the cast was really great. They really embraced me, mm -hmm. um, and it was a great welcome, you know, mm -hmm. into the, into this community. And once I toured and I took the the show for a year. I really got to learn more about the Estefans, about their story, about mm -hmm. their legacy, about the Miami Sound Machine, about what touring means. Mm -hmm. I, I had never done a Broadway tour. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that that's real stuff. It's it's yeah. not easy to do. Yeah. And people do it here all the time. And I just, I mean, musical theater performance. I do have to say, they're the hardest work working professionals in the business. Mm -hmm. Period. Even Gloria mm -hmm. Estefan would say, like, I don't know how you guys do it. Mm -hmm. Eight shows a week and press and opening nights and travel and do right. your laundry and do your groceries and hotels and planes and your days off. Touring yeah. is not is is very very hard, very difficult. You know, when I saw the tour, yeah. I saw it, I saw it in Miami where it, where it launched. Yeah, I remember. I, yeah, and maybe less so there than in other s cities, but it felt almost more political to yeah. to take that story and you know there's some great lines in the show that sort of yeah had a great and, you know line. I just saw an interview with Lynn Manuel Miranda talking about the in the heights movie yeah and he was saying how when you know a lot of this stuff when it opened on Broadway wasn't even controversial now right. suddenly it's like this hot it's crazy like we've gone backwards well because of the times we're living it's just crazy because of the times how, we're living yeah. and I follow you on Instagram so I know yes. you I know you have a lot to say I have a lot to say <laughs> yeah I'm becoming an activist yeah just you slowly are. but surely well but I mean I, especially as a Mexican performer yeah I mean, you sort of uh, you're right in the mix of it I and represent you're very woke. I represent my people yeah. I represent Mexicans I represent um, Hispanics, Latinos. Mm -hmm. I represent the gay community. Yeah, I represent a lot of flags. So, um, a lot of flags. A lot of flags <laughs> of mine are being attacked in a way. Right. So I have to defend them, and I I think the the smartest and classiest way to fight back is through art, through mm. my work, through mm -hmm. showing up, and I better have something to say, something positive to say. You know, people are are paying a price to come see me in the theater or in my shows or in my um, TV sh shows or whatever, yeah. and I better have something to deliver, mm -hmm. you know, um, something smart and something mm -hmm. that they can take home and think about, not only entertainment. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not in my 20s or 30s anymore, you know, I better deliver something right. smart to them. Right. I wouldn't go to bed at night sleeping um, calmly if I did mm -hmm. otherwise, you know. Um, I ju that's just the, the type of artist yeah. I am. I think the times have forced me to become in a way, mm -hmm. that kind of artist, mm -hmm. you know, because um, it's crazy what's going on. Yeah. It's very, very, it's very sad and very frightening, mm -hmm. but um, hopefully good will prevail.
Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's also interesting because in Mexico. Mexico, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> in Mexico, um, you have a very established career there. Yeah. And um, you've done a lot of TV things. TV, and then, film, uh, music. People can watch El Vato, right? El Vato, yeah. They which I won an Emmy for. It's Yeah, well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. We won an Emmy. Amazing. That's, <laughs> that's on, uh, on Netflix. Wa- it's on Netflix. Yes, yeah, so you can watch Netflix. it on Netflix. You can learn Spanish, too, because it has... English subtitles. Oh, you can so yeah. it's in right. There okay, that's a good. Is that how that's you? A, that's that that's the a good way to, way to learn Spanish. Well, now it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I approve um, this message. <laughs> but you know, and I know that uh, you you've had some like Spanglish la- Spanish. It's not Spanglish language. Uh-huh. Spanish language <laughs> uh, journalists like you know find you in New York. And, yes, and it's so interesting to me. That, that sort of um, mix between being very well-known somewhere and then here you can be a little more anonymous. Well, you and can so, every so now and then. That? That's so interesting because you could be in Mexico yeah. like living a very different life, but you yes. want to be here. So it's, very, it's an interesting uh, dichotomy, isn't it? Very interesting dichotomy, and it's interesting that you brought it up because I would never think that in a place like New York you would be all of a sudden being chased in Times Square like I was right, uh, because yeah. of a health thing, you know. Uh, I'm yeah. very open in my social media, so I posted a picture with uh, Ana Villafañe, yeah. my Broadway co-star and dear well, your, friend. Your health thing has been a, a, a big yeah, thing. You, it, you've had multiple bouts multiple, with ba- cancer. Ca- cancer four times, so yeah. I'm, that's and, another and flag that I have. Now? I'm very well in yeah. remission for a year and a half. Yes. What so does I'm very that flag open look like, that. by the way? What does that flag look like? It's a wide one, okay. a wide one yeah. that I, yeah, a wide okay. one that I say okay. peace. Uh. You gotta learn something about four after four four times. You know, you gotta wow. learn something. So I've learned to share my story. Mm. If people follow me, and I have thousands of followers um, on social media, yeah. and uh, they follow my career, why not also give them back information? Mm. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I could save a life, or yeah. two, or three, or ten, or five. I don't yeah. know. I'm also writing now, so okay. I've I've uh, signed a, a book deal with a Mexican. Um, Congratulations. Book. Awesome. Um, yeah. Like a memoir kind of thing? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm, I've, I've been writing a lot. So they wanted some interviews. And I said, I'm, guys, I'm going to spoil my, my book. So I can't give interviews about right. my health. You right. know, I'm mm-hmm. very transparent. Right. Everything right. I post is mm-hmm. very open. You know? Yeah, yeah. But how was I to know that a gossip show was shooting right in the middle of Times Square? Oh. <laughs> so you like walked by a Mexican film crew? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so I was like, what? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> but anyway, I mean, it's, it's, a love, it's a love-hate relationship right. that we have. Right. Um, but I just got to make sure to set the record straight and I'll be like, listen, guys, what I, what I want to share, it's the right there. It's very mm-hmm. transparent. Mm. Um, and yeah, cool. let's just get along and, and, and yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> so is, so are you ready for Monday night? Are you ready, yes. to, ready to get up? Well, I'm in? doing rehearsals all this okay. week. I just had a very good rehearsal last uh, night and another okay. one on Sunday. Cool. And I have another one tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Do you get excited? Very like, excited like and nervous. Up to it. You yeah. Do get nervous? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do get nervous. I'm a perfectionist and I like everything to be in its place. And uh-huh. I, um, the, sound, the sound guy is amazing in 54 Below. Laura's amazing uh-huh. to sing with. I have another beautiful uh, Barry Kiloa, Kiloa, who's a dear, dear friend and great singer who mm-hmm. did uh, Children of Salt with me at the New York Musical Festival okay, uh-huh. three summers ago. She's also singing with me. Okay. Jaime Lozano, who's my brother. He's my musical director. He's also from my hometown, from Monterrey. Oh. And I have a great band of four musicians. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be a, a, a fun night. Are you coming? I'm putting you home in the spot. De Mexico to Broadway. There you go. I'm saving him a seat, putting him on the Are spot. Are you saving me a seat? Yes. I'm going. What about there you go. French I'm going. Me and Imogen. We'll be there. I'll plantain get you a shot of tequila. How are the plantain chips? They're amazing. Because I feel like you could speak better on that than I can. The plantain chips? Yeah. yeah. Plant, I mean, yeah. Like they're, 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 they're amazing. They're crunchy. Okay. crunchy with guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> guacamole. guacamole, tequila, guacamole. yeah, tequila, <laughs> and I'm gonna be singing in Spanish some songs. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm gonna With be English doing subtitles. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing Jesus Christ Superstar. Ah. in Spanish. Wow. So that's a how good. How do you say that? I, What's that? How do you Jesus Christ Superestrella. Oh. Wow. Repeat after me. Jesus Christ Superestrella. Jesucristo. Superestrella. Superestrella. I love that you, the hand is very animated. <laughs> when you go to Spanish, you move the hand. Jesucristo, superestrella. And I'm yeah. also going to do La Bella y la Bestia. Jesucristo, superestrella. La Bella yeah. y la Bestia. Uh, what? La Bella y la Bestia. You know what that one Mm-mm. is? La Bella y la Bestia. 
En mi deformidad. Oh. Beauty and the Beast. La yes. Bella y la Bestia. Yeah. There you go. Right. I, watched I watched some bootleg <laughs> of, of that on YouTube once. <laughs> it's a good show. It's, they're bringing it back. Uh, here? I, oh, yeah, I yeah, heard yeah, it. I read it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful show. Yeah, totally. Beautiful show. Uh, hey, Caitlin Moynihan. Yes, that's me. Uh, what do the people say? Yes. So Alec has a question, and he wants to know, how do you decide what songs to put in your concert, and how do you decide you know, which ones you want to do Spanish versions of, and like, what's it like putting it all together? Yeah. Well, it's fun. It, I mean, luckily, I'm, I'm not like Barbra Streisand, and I don't have like five decades of work to <laughs> choose from. You know, I have... 14 shows that I'm like, okay, well, there, well, there you go. She I'll always this. opens every concert, though, with as if you never said goodbye. Yes. That seems to be just a given. I don't know why I'm frightened. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, why, he can't be frightened. <laughs> You're Robert Streisand. <laughs> Let me be frightened. Are you, are you changing it all from the last time? Did yes, you, you a little bit. Some yeah, because, yeah. I mean, my life has changed a lot also yeah. in this past year. So there's um, also exciting news that I'm going to announce that night. What? About my next project. I may or may not be singing not something book. from... Not the okay. Uh, no, about oh. my career. About my career. Oh, I might not My theatrical says. career. Uh -huh. I'll have my okay. laptop yep. ready to go. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, some new duets, new versions nice. of songs. Okay. I, I, yeah, I, I changed it up. It's cool. 50% of what you saw last year okay. and 50% new. But it's a lot of fun. I literally sit with my musical director and I go, okay, let's say Beauty and the Beast. Okay, I did this one last year. Okay, let's not do it again. Or did it work? Or let's do a duet now because I have mm -hmm. Laura as a guest. So what right. do we do? What do I sing with her? Right. We've never worked together. So what do we sing? Should we do something from Beauty and the Beast? Something from right. Saturday Night Fever? Something new? Right. So it's fun. It's, you, it's well, when you fun. book her, you're guaranteed she's going to look good and she's going to sound good. She's amazing. Yes. Yeah. I mean, every time I see her, mm -hmm. she's just, I mean. Stunning. Yeah. Princess. Sounds perfect. Hi, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, sure. So Kurt wants to know who are you really admiring in the musical theater world these days? Like, who are some of people you've been looking up to recently? Uh, well, I love Ben Platt. Mm, I love. Yeah. I mean, I love what he's done with his career. You mm -hmm. know, after after Dear Evan Hansen, uh, that album that he produced and wrote now, the what, songs. What happened with his career, the album is fantastic. And then yeah. Ryan Murphy said, yes. hey, let's Scooped go to lunch. Up. And then he and then he sat him down. Ryan Murphy told me this and said, what do you want to do? So what if Ryan Murphy said that to you? What would you say? What do you want to do? Oh, I have three shows already. Oh, so, you already? Okay, you yeah, already have like, figured out. No, I'm like, Ryan, I'm waiting for your call. Uh, let's, okay. let's go have lunch. I have my life plan, my decade plan. Okay, so you got just, it all figured okay. out. Okay. Ryan, llama me. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have like three seasons of okay. different shows. Your mind is always going. I'm producing, I'm writing. Okay. It's, okay. it's done. But Ben Platt's a one, ben definitely Platt. one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Any shows you've seen recently? You're a, a yeah, I, saw, I mean, audience. I saw a lot. I saw pretty much every single show of last season except like Hades Town. You didn't see Hades Town? No, I have not seen. Oh, okay. It is the hottest ticket in yeah. town, <laughs> yeah. but I, that's the one that I didn't see. Mm -hmm. I loved, loved To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh. I loved uh, What the Constitution Means mm -hmm. to Me. Yes. I love that show. Mm -hmm. It's so smart. Yeah. I loved Oklahoma. I had never seen Oklahoma, mm -hmm. so it's it was a very interesting take on it. Uh, mm -hmm. I really, really ex enjoyed it. Um, a lot of shows. Tootsie, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Tootsie. Yeah, Tootsie. Yeah, yeah. Tootsie. Yeah. He won a Tony, Tootsie. so he's pretty, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> would, it was you a good shave, would you shave your face to do... Tootsie? Like, well, it's in, 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 or maybe in Spanish it would be Tootsie. Tootsie. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I would shave. You would do that. Right? I've not shaved in like three years now because really? of On Your Feet and right. Rimbato. Oh, right. okay. and, yeah. Yeah. I may have to shave later this year. Oh, for the surprise Spoiler thing. Alert. You never know. Spoiler alert. You never know. <laughs> not Tootsie. Not Tootsie. It's not Tootsie. I was talking to a Mexican producer about Tootsie, actually, and uh, we were talking about doing it in Mexico. Yeah. Um, and I, I said, Tootsie. Say. Yeah, you can yeah. be Tootsie. <laughs> and Michael Dorsey. Well, <laughs> and I, I did see Moulin Rouge, which is the uh, next season. Wow. Magic. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfection. Yeah. I loved it. You have to say it with an exclamation point, though. Oklahoma, too. It's not just Oklahoma. It's Oklahoma! Oklahoma! Moulin Rouge! Moulin Rouge. The exclamation point means Moulin Rouge. Although oh, Moulin Rouge has uh, an exclamation yeah. mark. Yeah. So they're on your feet, I think. Yeah. On oh, your yeah. feet! Did it? Yeah. On your feet! <laughs> 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 on your feet had an exclamation mark. Yeah, it yeah. did. It did. You're right. It was on your feet, the story of Gloria and Emilio Stefan. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a whole it's, thing. It's a, never, <laughs> there hasn't been a question mark musical in a while. Uh, no. The Who? No. 
Tommy, the who? No. Uh, uh, the who? The who? <laughs> Tommy? What? Tommy? What happened to Virginia Woolf? <laughs> the who's Tommy? Oh, what happened? No. Yeah, what happened to oh, Virginia Woolf? Oh, God. That's but that, is that a musical? No, that's not a musical. It's coming it's up this season. Which who's one? afraid the Virginia of Virginia Woolf, Woolf has a question mark? I don't think there is. There's not? Whatever I happened to Baby Jane? Like, what? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Period. I'm sorry. We should do it. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? That should be a musical. Whatever. Yeah, which one would you With Idina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth. There you go. All right, done. That's right? actually a very strong that's a, idea. That's a good idea, right? Yeah. I could be in it. I could be the, I don't know, idea. ice cream at the end. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we got to go. We ran over. We have to go. You just talk. You talk I am a, a talker. Lot. Okay, yeah. so De Mexico. To Broadway. To Broadway is on Monday, yes. August 26th, what, 7 p.m.? At 7 p.m. at 54 Below. I think doors open at like 5. You can get yes, your plantain chips. So you can get chips. your drink, your plantain chips. You can eat a lot of plantain chips between 5 and 7. I'll get you a shot of tequila <laughs> <laughs> to get this promises, tonight going. Promises, promises. Um, I keep my promises, Paul. Okay. <laughs> That's not for everyone. There's not no. free tequila. Don't get excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. Uh, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single weekday here on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We talk to Tony Nominee, Tony Nominee an Ain't Too Proud star, Ephraim Sykes.